check it out folks if you guys want to learn how to make a super delicious hey i gotta say this extremely easy southern fried cabbage then this is the recipe for you okay so look as you guys can see not a whole lot of ingredients right when you say a southern fried cabbage this is it right here listen it's gonna look simple but listen we're gonna use in premium ingredients right so look two things is gonna be key that right here look that's this creole kick you guys man if you've been following me for a minute you know about this right here right this is what's gonna give us that over the top flavor right there that make it pop with just a touch a little bit of heat right and then this right here this is that chicken and dewy this right here and what's inside of here is what's gonna put all of the flavor in the bottom of this pan and that's what we gonna sweat and cook everything with hey listen so i'm not over talking let's get it I just want to go ahead and set my heat. Listen, we're going to sweat this bacon down, cook it down, right? So I'm going to put a little heat in here. I just want to go with like a little bit of a medium flame, right? Today I'm going to use my frying pan. Listen, that's made by Hexclad. If you guys get a chance to get some of these, uh, check them out. Hey, I got something for you. Listen, if you guys go by to Real Talk with AB, right? Search that on YouTube and go sign up. I'm going to give away a 14 piece. I think it's a 14 piece set. It might be 14 or a 13 piece set. I'm gonna give away one of those and I'm gonna have two runner ups. I'll give away the seven piece set. Listen, you get one of these, these are life changing. Now, so we starting to put a little heat in there, right? So look, I got one pound of bacon. This right here, look at this right here. This right here, y'all, listen, has changed my life. For, especially for those of you guys that do not eat pork. Check this out. This right here, this is that beef, beef bacon. I just wanna show you, look at that. You can see it's marble too. I ain't never had beef bacon, bake bacon this good. I'll leave all the information where you guys can uh, get some. Listen, it'll come right to your door. Okay, so look, now we're gonna put a little butter in here. I know we're gonna generate, listen, I put butter in here anyway because I love the flavor and I know we're gonna have a lot of fat, right? But that's the way I just started off, right? So now I'll go ahead and just put this bacon in here. And again, this is beef bacon, folks. Game changer. Now we're gonna go ahead and just prep our, our veggies, right? Cut this little knuckle off the bottom right here. Then we take this little piece out right here. Cut down here on the bottom. Be careful, especially if you got a sharp knife. Now we just take it, cut it there. Just makes it much, much easier. Let me cut away from myself, do it the right way. All right, and then we can just cut this down into, you know, our strips. Look at my, my bacon, right? You can see it rendered a lot of fat. And I know folks, I gotta keep saying this. Look, this is beef bacon. Look, and it's generating all of that. But you see that? This is what you wanna do. Cause listen, we gonna put it back in here and cook it some more, right? So I just take this, I got me a little bowl. You know, I got a paper line so I can, you know, take off any excess, you know, oil in here. But look at that right there. Ah, oh, yeah. Now I'm just gonna take this. Look, I'm not dicing. I just turn it and do it all kind of different ways. You know what I mean? Uh, that's fine. It's going to wither down anyway. Once we get it inside and on this hot, you know, grease. So this is what you want. You can see it's like layered up. You know how onion is, right? So this right here would be just fine. Now that I got my oil back up to temp, I always start, anytime I'm doing anything, I start with my onions first, right? So we want to start getting these soft. Put the top over it, keep everything contained. You gotta love these pots. Okay, so look, I like the way my onions is starting off. This perfect right here, right? So now we're gonna go ahead and just add the rest of our ingredients in, right? So I'll just take this right here. Not the rest of our ingredients, but you know the rest of our veggies, right? So we'll just go ahead and put that in there like that and just move this around and we wanna get this coated too. Now I haven't put in the garlic yet, but I just wanna give this a little bit of a start but we gonna move fast. What we need to do right now is what we need to do is we need to prep our andouille, right? So I'm gonna leave this top off like this, let this work. And I'm doing this like this, you know what I mean? Uh, to be honest with you, I never ever thought about this. I used to cut them into circles and then to slices and then, you know, cut them into quarters. But look, one of my subscribers told me, hey, if you just cut it the long way, which I'm doing right here, you know what I mean? So don't say I don't learn, you know what I mean? So we take them like this and we just start adding it. Real simple. Okay, so we got that in there. Now it's time for us to move this around like this, right? Once I get everything coated, guess what? We're gonna reintroduce, you know, our bacon, right? And let it continue on like that. Now you understand why I took it out. Cause look, we had a little bit more work to do and I didn't want to like overcook my bacon, right? So we just keep moving it like this. 
And if you guys didn't know, because I'm not really stressing it that way, but this is the truth. Hey, when you say keto friendly, this is it right here. This is a keto meal. You're looking for something that's over the top with flavor, this is what you want, folks. You know what I mean? So now we do it like this. Now we start to sweat that andouille and let it release its flavor inside of this. Guess what? Now it's time to clean the board again and we're finna go with that, that cabbage. Wee! Okay, so look, this is what you wanna do, folks. I'm gonna go ahead, make sure you got yourself a sharp knife and I'm just gonna cut this down. Just like this, right? What I'm looking for is this piece right here. You see that? Now, I just take this. You wanna be careful. Take this and we gonna cut it out. So what I do is I cut like a, a little bit of a V, right? We just wanna get that out of there. And then when this comes out, you good. And then I always look at this top layer. You know what I mean? Uh, Sometimes I take like at least one layer off. And now what I do is I just cut this down. You guys cut it however you want to. Look, no real reason, no rhyme to no reason or whatever like that. I cut it like this, like that, and like that. Right, any big pieces, don't forget, it's gonna weather down. And this right here is gonna be fire because all of this is gonna absorb all of that goodness that you've been making. And then we are gonna go from there. So look, I'll just set it over here for now. You know I like to get down and load up my press, right? Go ahead like this and then look at that right there. Ooh, let me go ahead and cue that music. Oh yeah. Now we only gonna let this go for about a minute, right? That's all it needs. Soon as it get some of that hot grease and all that andouille, onion, and bell pepper and everything on there, Oh my goodness, you talk about the aromatic that it kicks up, you know, from that. Now we gonna add our Creole kit, right? So, this right here is where we get a lot of that flavor from right here, folks. This is what ties it all in together. Now, if you guys don't have Creole kit, which I'm probably sure if you've been following me for a minute, I'm gonna say 90% of you guys got it. I know you got it, you know what I mean? But if you don't, any Creole seasoning to do right here, or just use your favorite seasoning, you know what I mean? Uh, even if you guys are uh, lucky enough to get my AP, which is about to drop, that works too. But I'm gonna say this Creole kick for this right here is a must have. Any Creole seasoning, Cajun seasoning, that does it. And I'm gonna do this for you right now. I want you guys to take a look at this. I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this. Let's see if I can get this right here. Look at the color of everything to sweat it out. That means that Dewey has released his flavor and that's it, folks. That's what we wanna get on that cabbage. So look, I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding this in here like this. Actually, it'll take it all. It depends on how big it is. You might have to do this, you know, in uh, like increments, you know? Like do half of it and let it sweat down and then do the other half. But this right here, we'll do that. I'm just gonna stir it around before I put my top on, you know, and get it all in here. But you guys can see right now, it's transferring the flavor and everything on here. Now, you gotta know this part too. Anytime you're doing cabbage or anything, like a head of lettuce or something like that, this is nothing but, uh, nothing but water so it'll sweat down just right so now we'll just go ahead and add the rest and again if you're on keto or you're looking for something you know on the keto high protein you know what i mean uh this is it right here you don't need to add nothing else you just want to give it a good stir you know what i mean depends on the size of your pot for me i can get it all done in one all right so once i got it all you know fixed up and covered and covered you know everything covered and well mixed then i'll come back and take a look at it but you got to put that top on there you know what i mean because you want it to sweat and steam okay so look i'm going to give a pro tip you see that right there that steam that's coming out of there is hot and will burn you as if you touch something hot so look i'm gonna turn it this way right and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna break it away from me because if i break it over here i had a nasty burn under here just giving you guys a heads up so we break it this way let the steam out right and then we do it like that. Now, I want you guys to take a look at this right here. Ooh wee. Now, we don't have to worry about nothing sticking, because for one, we got an excellent pot, and two is, you know that it rendered a lot of fat, we sweating everything, and most of it is going back inside, you know what I mean? So nothing to burn on the bottom, right? Oh, look at that. And then I want you to notice the color. If you look at the color, right? Let me just see, I'm just checking the, the softness. You know what I mean? Because I like mine a different, uh, I like mine on a soft texture. 
But if you look at the color, you can see the andouille and all of the flavors are starting to soak, soak in inside of the cabbage. But that's what you want. Now, I want you to tell you this. Now, this part is totally up to you. It's how you want your texture to be. For me, I like mine a little bit soft. For those of you guys that want to have a little crunch, once you get it to where you want to do it, remove it from the heat immediately. Leave the top off so you don't want it to continue to steam. But for me, I'm looking at it right here, and guess what, folks? I think we are right about there. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fire off. I'm gonna put my lid back on and let it just continue like that as we talk. What I'm gonna do is clean up my surface, you know, my work area, all of that. Look, I like to wash my dishes as I go. By the time I get through with that, and I put this on the plate, we finna taste test and we finna eat. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here just like this. Make sure I get some of that andouille. Oh, just, I just wanna get it all, folks. The beef bacon is on fire. Just everything about this is right. All right, folks, look, it's time to get down. Now, don't forget, the texture of everything is up to you how you like it. Now, I just wanna make sure I get some of this andouille. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Cheers, folks. This right here is just right. Not a lot of times I tell you I cooked it perfectly. This right here, the cabbage is the way I like it. It's just a little bit of crunch, you know, the crunch you gotta like, like push through it just a little bit, but still yet, it's nice and soft. Mm. All I can tell you is, listen, if you guys are doing keto, this is an excellent recipe for you, especially if you're looking for something outside of those, you know, wings and everything else. This right here, this is the flavor profile. Hey, the Creole kick ties it all together. Listen, you guys, some of you guys that ain't never had it, you're probably thinking like, cabbage, how can it be? I promise you, if you make this, this will probably be in your rotation for at least once every week. Hey, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and I want you guys to tell everybody out there listen to this it's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking and with that being said i'm finna dump this in a bigger bowl this is about to be my dinner and i'm out peace